What's up YouTube family? I'm coming to you guys today with a really, really healthy recipe. So first and foremost, I would like to thank Yandu, the company Yandu, y'all, for sponsoring this video today. Let me um, tell you some things about this brand. Um, first of all, it is a all-purpose savory seasoning, okay? And it came with recipe cards right here. So some of the recipes is pea, mint, walnut dip, yandu fried rice savory sauteed radishes and creamy squash soup but there's endless of recipes that you can do so let me read a little bit to you guys yandu is a savory liquid seasoning that makes your veggies delicious Ooh, i love vegetables so mm. it says it enhances the flavor of each individual ingredient while balancing the overall taste it elevates the flavor of dishes without adding extra salt. Ooh, y'all, you don't have to add no salt, okay? Oil or butter. It can help lower your salt intake by up to 40%. Wow, that's amazing. Um, it reduces your cooking time and need for extra spices by giving depth of flavor as if your meal has been slowly simmering for a long time. Wow, so I'm excited about using this, y'all. So vegetable umami sauce all-purpose savory seasoning this is what it looks like you guys i'm excited so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a sauteed broccoli and onion so i'm going to saute the broccoli and onion i'm going to use some of the um all-purpose seasoning you don't need a lot you really don't need a lot maybe like two tablespoons for your um sauteing vegetables stuff like that it actually tells you on the back of this you know how many tablespoons you would need for whatever you're cooking like if you're making broth with this which you can you would use one tablespoon with two cups of water for sauteed vegetables you use a one tablespoon of yandu anything with rice grains beans pasta you use one tablespoon um, but if you're making like your own dressing let's say you want to make a dressing for your salad you would need two tablespoons of yandu two tablespoons of lemon juice and two tablespoons of olive oil so oh and also with my broccoli sauteed onion and broccoli sauteed i'm also going to be doing salmon so basically i'm going to saute i mean sear my salmon with some of this yandu sauce but i'm actually going to put some of the sauce in this bag let it marinate for a while and then i'll come back to you guys because i'll sear it after that okay so stay tuned for this video and thank you yandu for sponsoring what's up y'all so i am back i went ahead and let my salmon it's right here as you can see the sauce, the umami sauce is right there. So I left this in the refrigerator, I wanna say for about four to five hours. Obviously, it's always best to do it overnight. Don't have that time, so I got it right here, nice and ready, and it's been in the sauce for four hours, and that's what we're gonna sear it. We're not gonna add anything, because we want this to shine, okay? We want the yandu to shine, the all-purpose savory seasoning. And just so, if anybody's curious, it does smell like it smells actually good. It smells like soy sauce with something else, like some type of broth or something like that going on. Cause soy sauce is actually really strong. This, is, this doesn't give me that strong soy sauce vibe, if you get what I'm saying. But yeah, so it smells good. So I just wanted to show y'all, okay? So here's the fish. I'm gonna take you over to the um, stove top and then we're gonna get to searing and we're gonna be cutting onions and getting ready to make our onion and broccoli salad, all right? All right, y'all, so I'm back. Got my pan with a little oil. I used some olive oil right here. I went ahead and diced up one small onion, which is here. Y'all can see that, it's on my board. And that will be for my broccoli. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fish that we have marinating in the yandu and the umami sauce. Go ahead and put that. Oh, y'all, you know what? Mm -mm. Your girl didn't even have the stove top on. What's going on, t What the hell? Um, for my, well, that's heating up. I'm going to talk to y'all more about this uh, product. Um, first of all, for my broccoli, I would have got fresh broccoli. I don't have fresh broccoli, so I'm going to use frozen because that's what I have. So that will be in this pan back here. And let me tell y'all more about this, okay? I'm going to put all their, um, like their website, their Facebook, and their Instagram down below in my um, description in case you guys want to check them out and see what other products they have but um i wanted to let y'all know that this product also is so like the it's a world of possibilities of what you could do you can saute vegetables you can make soups 
you can use it on grains so that would be your like your rice and your pasta you can use it as a marinade um, you can use it fried grilled baked um, for cold stuff for sauces just about anything y'all it's, it's just so much stuff up here so let me just tell y'all some things they got something called fresh white cheese you can use the sauce fried egg with potatoes grilled beef burger um beef broth grilled salmon i mean it just it's a lot y'all but i'm gonna put their um information y'all in the description box and y'all go check them out okay let me get the salmon on this pan go ahead and got my little salmon right here okay we're gonna sear that I'm back. Take care of that. So, I'm going to turn that down a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and um, start on my broccoli as well, y'all. So, I'm going to put some olive oil in the back pan. You don't need too much. Mmm, this smells so good. Oh my God, that sauce on that salmon, y'all. This umami, vegetable umami. And y'all know salmon don't take long, so. I'm gonna do this for a little bit. Okay. Be right back, y'all. I'll put this on over here. Okay. Once this oil gets a little hot back here, I'm gonna go ahead and put more onions in here. Okay, one small onion. Y'all see that? I'm gonna put it in my back here. Like I said, I'm not gonna use other ingredients on either thing, like because we want the yandu to stick out, right? Don't need salt. Pretty much don't need nothing, right? So. I'm happy this company gave me a chance to showcase what I can do with their brand. And I'm happy to get ready to eat a healthy lunch. You know what I'm saying? We're going to flip this. Flip that. Can y'all see the fish? My light over here is kind of messed up. Let me see. I'm going to bring this light in here. Got my onions back here, y'all. Let's hold tape for a minute before you add the broccoli. Oh, it smells good in here, y'all. Like I said, I have frozen broccoli, y'all. Frozen. I prefer fresh of this height but don't have it so I'm gonna go ahead and add the broccoli in here I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of this bag okay So we're gonna mix that around and we're gonna add one tablespoon of the umami um, sauce, y'all. Yeah. 
The fish is still cooking up over here. And, you know, really, you can do any type of vegetables you want, right? So what I have is broccoli. And I told myself, well, I can do an onion and broccoli saute. But um, I'm also going to try a stir fry one day. And I'll video that for y'all as well. Because I love vegetables. I just haven't had a chance to go to the store. So I use what I got on hand. But like a vegetable stir fry, I think would be amazing with this sauce. Mix that up. We need to find the top to this. It needs to uh, broccoli needs to get fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up, y'all. Let the broccoli get a little soft, of course. Then I'll add the sauce. So let's go back over here to the salmon. Almost had it. Almost had it. Okay. So um, basically, I'll be back, y'all, once the salmon is done and the broccoli has softened up so we can move on to the next step. All right? So stay tuned. All right, y'all. So basically, the salmon is basically done. I'm just letting the other side get a little more browner. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Ooh, yes, honey. I did that, baby. Kendrick is over here wanting my salmon, so I'll might be I'll let him taste taste it for you guys. I mean, what did I say? I'll let him taste it, yeah, for y'all, so y'all can see what how it, it is if he likes it or not. Then the broccoli is getting softer as we speak, so let's we'll turn over. Oh, look! Now is the time to go ahead and add the one tablespoon of your mommy sauce. Okay, shake that up. You're gonna go ahead. We already, and don't forget, we already put some marinated the salmon in it. Now we're gonna go ahead and add it with our veggies. Can y'all see that? Okay. Oh, that's not one of. Okay, y'all. Uh, actually measuring. I measured it out. And go ahead and spread that in there. That's all you need, baby. Okay, I'm gonna turn the temperature down for the broccoli. Okay. Ooh, it smells good. I wish I could smell what the house smells like, y'all. I'm telling you. It smells good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go put the top back on my broccoli and onions. I'm going to let this go on, um, I want to say medium temperature, low to medium temperature for about... Give it about like eight minutes, maybe 10, depending on your stove top. And then I'll go ahead and plate this up so y'all will see everything, okay? So stay tuned. Woo -hoo! Look at that, y'all. Look at that. So sauteed broccoli and onions with the yandu sauce, the vegetable you mommy. That salmon looking on point. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting ready to enjoy this healthy, healthy. And I know delicious, so I'm getting ready to bite it. Meal. So, if you like this video, which I hope you do, hit that like button. Help your girl out. Let it run through YouTube. Feel what I'm saying? Hit that like button. So, every view I see, I hope to see a like button. Or if you're a hater, you can dislike it. Whatever one you choose to do. Comment down below what you guys want me to cook. Uh, or what videos you want to see. I need to be on the grind. A girl's tired of living like this. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get rich. But I want to thank... Let me go, let me put the camera on me now. I want to thank again, Yandu. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Well appreciated. Um, I'm getting ready to eat this food up. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, till next video, it's your girl Tisha, and I am out.